All right, we finished epilogue part one last video. This will be part two, maybe the final part. There could be a part three, but uh, I believe this is the exact same stances they were in when they were on the ship. Elliot's still looking for land, I guess. Okay, this is what, the Twin Dragon Bridge? Yeah, Twin Dragon's Bridge. All oh, right, Reen, Reen is coming back from Crossbell with, um, yep, that guy. Hey, buddy. Welcome back to being the MC. A single uh, Sakura leaf petal thing. I, I do hope they explain why he was over there. You know, why he was helping Osborne, I guess. Do you really got to travel with that guy? Can you not just call him from anywhere? I will now enter an inactive state and allow the mechanics to perform maintenance. Oh, oh. Okay, yeah, I guess. I'll leave him with you. Be careful, he is limited edition. It's a real honor to be entrusted with the famous Ashen Knight. Yeah, yeah, whatever, dude. Reen, watch. Welcome back, Reen. Oh. You must be exhausted. Clear! Not really. I barely did anything. Everything went off without a hitch, mostly thanks to Valimar's power. Uh, Claire, are we are we still kind of cool with each other, or he's not turning around? Not to mention the planning of your people. Okay, yeah, we're not. <laughs> You're annoyed, I take it. Well, more like mad. By the way we do things. Regardless of the means, the war coming to a swift end was a good thing for everyone. As for what happened to Crossbell, I'm not in any position to talk. They've been occupied, sad face, though, however, it only lasts two years, so... No, those aren't what bother me. I can buy that you had no idea Rufus was an iron blood. I mean, shit, even Lecter had no idea. But did you really not know about my real father? Oh, yeah. I guess she must have known? Uh, she knew and she hid it from Reen. That's crazy. Claire, you're kind of getting bumped down in the ranks, whatever that means. I didn't have any hard evidence. But I did suspect that might be the case. Wow. After all we've been through. You just seemed somehow similar. The air about you, your facial features. And yet you doubted? I was always puzzled by how fascinated he was by your class as well. Yeah? I see. Excuse me then. Damn, that's it? <laughs> Yo, the, the cold shoulder. That wasn't the only reason I worried about you, you know. Oh? Not that I could possibly tell him that. Excuse me? Home sweet home. <sighs> Maybe I overreacted what exactly happened when uh when osborne told reen luke i am your father <sighs> okay yeah flashbacks great flashbacks actually it's not like the excitement of that day has faded away or anything so why why do i feel so cold reen i think you might have depression welcome back reen uh, of course it's elisa oh and, and the whole gang, in their school attire. It's not like you to wallow in nostalgia. Did the flowers get to you? You all came to see me. I'm so touched. It's good to be back, you guys. I feel like Reen is only happy when he's around his class. When he's by himself, or if, you know, everyone graduates and goes off on their own, he's gonna become sad boy. You must be wiped out after all you did, though. Yeah, the question is, why did I do it? Did all of you really come out here just to welcome me back? I mean, what are friends for, I guess? It's not like we second years have any lessons to worry about this time of year. Technically, the first years are supposed to be in class right yeah, now. Yeah, well, listen. But I turned it into a self-study period instead. Exactly. Perfect. Best teacher. It's nice to see you here too, Celine. I didn't even know you were there. Well, don't think I went out of my way to be here or anything, but given the way that you were acting when you left, I was a little worried about you. I mean, I wasn't. Not at all. Wait a minute. Does Reen's harem extend to a cat as well? Please? No? I need my question to be answered. We can carry your stuff for you if you want. What stuff? It's only one bag. You said that class is in session right now, right? I'm a student, so I might as well attend. Ah, uh, that's not a good choice. And just like that, we all get a happy ending. The class is gonna notice. Epilogue. Winter's end. Winter is coming. I'll never forget those days. Uh, talk to me. The final weeks we spent together as a class are like dazzling jewels forever etched into my memories. Oh, this is Reen talking in the future. I cherished every last moment. I never wanted it to come to an end. After what happened, okay. Bellflame Palace soon returned to its original form. I need some explanation. It was almost as if everything that took place there was some sort of dream. Yeah, yeah. People's memories of that day started becoming vague. Many were convinced it was some kind of collective hallucination. Well, that's just dumb. After the war, the entire country feared that Calvert would invade Crossbell and try to take it for its own. Using that to his advantage, Rufus quickly convinced the nobility to support him. 
pledged to cooperate with the Chancellor. Oh, he kind of big-brained them, huh? And in January 1205, the combined forces of both Imperial and Provincial armies invaded Crossbell. Crossbell no longer possessed the weapon of mass destruction that had annihilated Gorelia Fortress. That white ion thing? The robot? The big one? Thanks to that, the city was occupied in a mere day with no bloodshed. Yeah, Crossbell never stood a chance. As for me, Chancellor Osborne's words became the reality. Wow. Valimar and I were heralded as those responsible for Heimdall's liberation. Bro, he became popular? That's crazy. They got your good side too. And as the purported hero to the nation, I'd received and accepted a request in February to back up our forces in Crossbell. He didn't agree to help Osborne, I guess? It was there that I found myself suddenly leading numerous soldats and fighting off the Republican army. Yep, yep. Before I knew it, everyone around me was referring to me as the Ashen Chevalier. Let me guess, he he thinks he doesn't deserve all this all this fame, all this all this praise. Time kept flowing, and mid-March came, the month in which class seven would finally say their goodbyes. What? Wait a minute, there's there's still one whole year ahead. What do you mean? I'm not ready to say goodbye yet. <laughs> we'll be covering the 50 year period from the Orbal Revolution up to the present day. Yeah, I'm gonna ditch. We're blowing through this material a lot more quickly than I would otherwise. So try to keep up with your reading. Who are you? Really? Sounds like a pain. Yeah, honestly. Oh well. Third period, mathematics. I was kind of decent at math. All right. Like I said, I'll be giving a quiz next week on everything we've covered up to now. Oh, great. It'll cover quadratic functions, factorizations, sets, logic, and probability. Uh, yeah, sounds easy. And if I'm feeling really mean, there might be a little calculus in there. I'm getting depressed just thinking about it. Join the club. That sums up this lecture on the structure of the stock market in Erebonia. My head is hurting. You're also going to be taking part in a debate on those issues. What kind of debate? The master kind. You poor kids must be exhausted. Damn right. Feels like all your other instructors are dead set on cramming your brains with as much material as humanly possible. I want to crawl into a hole and die. Dear God. Forcing you to try and keep up with us is a little unfair of us, though. Yeah, you're gonna have to do all of this again next year. Huh? Are you sure you're fine with this arrangement? Did I flunk? This is to my benefit too. If I get all of this crammed into my head now, maybe I can even come out on top on next year's midterms. Okay, so Reen is staying for his second year and everyone else is leaving? Anyway, tomorrow's the day you've all been waiting for. Your next free day. I know you've got enough schoolwork to choke a horse, but what? try to carve out a little time for your clubs and all that youthful jazz. The forecast for tomorrow is clear blue skies. Might be the perfect chance to sneak off and get into some ooh la la with oh. that special someone. I'm picking up what you're putting down, Sensei. Spoken like a true lifetime member of the Lonely Hearts Club, Instructor. Got her. Holy crap. I'll have you know that there are plenty of guys who would do anything for a private lesson with yours truly. But if that many men are interested in you, how can you spend so much time drinking alone in your room? Damn, Elliot, where the hell did that come from? If you keep setting your sights on guys like Laura's dad, <laughs> you might as well just buy a couple cats and get it over with. That was savage. That's expected from Fee, though. That's fine. Time really does fly. It's hard to believe our last free day is tomorrow. Guys, guys, we're, we're, we're playing Cold Steel 1 again. Were you able to rest up at all while you were away? It was basically work, work, work the whole time. I did get taken into Crossbell City during what time off I did have. To the people of Crossbell, we Erebonians are aggressors. Oh. I can hardly imagine they would welcome us with open arms. Okay, yeah, that's that's fair. That doesn't sound like it'd stop Lecter from living it up over there, though. Oh yeah, that man gambles. <laughs> he did take me to a casino once, actually. I I'm telling you. He won so much, he might as well have been cheating. It always feels like people who like gambling really like it, huh? Yeah, right, Crow? Oh, um... So, does anyone have anything planned for our free day? Thank you for changing the subject. Remember, it's the very last one, so make it count. We wouldn't want to end the day with any regrets. Kind of sad. I mean, shouldn't we have another year? Not sure what the rules are, honestly. I've got so much that I want to do, I'm not sure where to start. I've got to go taste test some new dishes for the cooking club. Will you be helping the student council tomorrow, Reen? Oh, yeah, forgot. I do that. And now, I'm all alone. Well, I guess I'd better get going. 
I could go straight to the student council room, but it's my first time back in over a month, so it would be nice to take a walk. I'm getting emotional. Reen. Huh? Huh? I thought you were going to the gymnasium. Aw, cute. Uh, um... I do intend to go. I just wanted to spend a little time with you first. Oh my god, I'm flustered. You don't even realize how cute you are sometimes, do you? Reen, uh, Reen has a way with words, huh? <laughs> I feel like I've grown more selfish ever since I met you. Having you in my arms again is everything I could ask for. Then why are you so depressed? Reen... I'm just saying, might as well smooch. Nope. We're just gonna stare into each other's souls. Yep, we're back. Back in school. God, I love it here. All, all these sweet memories. You're not even painting, you liar, you fake, you fraud. I do have some questions though. Uh, what happened to Crow's body? What happened to the battles in the castle? You know, uh, McBurn versus Laura's dad, Zephyr versus Claire and etc. I'm pretty sure they just separated. Like once, once the castle went back to normal, I'm pretty sure everyone went their own ways. I'm assuming it probably went something like, well, this was fun. Let's do this again sometime. Against someone like you, even retreat is a victory. Laura, are you are you still training Monica? Was that was that her name? I believe so. Yep. It's it's kind of sad to be honest. Um wait, is there there's a third floor? Yo, I had no idea there was a third floor. Oh, the salon for the exclusive use of the nobility. Hello? Oh. Georgie? You uh you got your bike back. That's Good. Wait, is that? Yep, Angie's brand new bike. I take it back, that's a whole ass new bike. It looks better than the old one. You're planning on going off on some big journey, aren't you? I just felt like it was time for me to go out and see the world for myself. You, uh, you wanna take Georgie with you? Make it a long ass date? I don't know. I take it you'll be leaving Erebonia for a while too, George? Why, why is everyone leaving me? First stop's the Burl and ZCF. I think it'd be nice to pay a visit to the Vern Company in Calvert, too. I hope you can find a way to make that happen. Even though I feel kind of hypocritical saying that, as someone who participated in the war. Well, I mean, uh, didn't feel like a full-scale blown-out war, but... You have nothing to be ashamed of. That was your only option, given the way the Chancellor set things up. Your actions actually helped us avoid an even longer, more brutal war. You're not alone, Rain. You've got friends who understand why you did what you did. Yeah, friends that are leaving me. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just in my feels right now. Valimar, old buddy, old pal. How's it? Uh, oh, that's a big touchy, huh? This is going to be our new home base for the time being, so oh. you can get in as much maintenance as you need. I'm gonna need you a lot in the days ahead, Valimar. I will strive to meet your expectations. Huh? Something wrong? You gotta go toilet? I thought I said something unusual, but it must have been my imagination. In... in rain? What was it you sensed, though? A person? I am unsure. It may have simply been a fluctuation of the earth things below us. If you sense anything strange in the future, though, let me know, okay? You can tell me... Telepathically was the word, right? Wow, we're at that stage already? Alright, so now we go talk to Toa. Uh, knock. Yes. Protagonist here, and sleeping again. <sighs> yep, I knew it. Gotta take off my jacket. She must have been really busy getting everything sorted out for the spring. <laughs> Makes me remember finding her like this over in the computer room. Ha, good old times. Angie. Huh? George. Oh. Crow. Yikes, uh, I'm just gonna pretend I didn't hear that. Ugh, too much crack. <laughs> Rain? Hey, hey! What are you doing in my room? This isn't... well, is it your room, I guess? Wait... This is the student council room. Exactly. Sorry for coming in without permission. I did knock, though. Don't worry about it. It's my fault for dozing off like this. Why do you always have to keep finding me like that? Why do you always have to doze off? I hope you weren't looking at me while I was sleeping again. I, uh... The, the window pane was very interesting. Nope. Is something the matter? No, uh, Crow? You're not looking too well. Oh, damn. I'm sick. No, I'm fine. Sick of you. No, I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I feel fine, really. Do you? Do you, Reen? Come with me. No. Whoa, hey, hey. What's this all about? I know that you're a boy and all. <laughs> what? And I do think that you've grown a lot during your year here. I mean, yes to both? Toa? 
that doesn't mean you always have to stand and endure everything life throws your way. You know, you're very touchy today. If it gets too much, it's all right to sit down and let it all out. Oh, she wants him to cry for Crow. Whether you're a boy or a grown man doesn't change that. It's okay, Reen. <gasps> she got to him. Oh. I'm so sorry. I'm so... So sorry. Yeah, I mean, he did He did promise them that he would bring Crow back to graduate with them. That sucks. I promised I'd bring him back. Yeah. I promised I'd make him graduate with you, but I couldn't do it. It's okay. You did everything you could. You made sure he knew how we all felt. And you let all of us know how he really felt too. Yeah, but... but... he's dead. So... Don't get so worked up about it, okay? Very nice, very nice scene. I'm sorry. I didn't want anyone to see me like that. I'm a man. Well, I guess we're even then. Have you finished getting everything ready for the next student council now, by the way? Yep. My days of being president are almost done. I just came to ask if there was anything I could do to help tomorrow, seeing as it's another free day. I do have a few things in mind, so I'll just drop them into your mailbox in the dorm like I always do. Ah, uh, good old times. You've all known each other since your first day here, right? I never could have imagined we'd get along this well. We got off to a kind of rocky start. <laughs> You're telling me. Especially Machias and Yuses. Yeah, they still kind of hate each other. Wow, we are actually reminiscing. I suppose the same could be said about your and Reen's little incident at the start of the year, couldn't it? Oh, I forgot about that. Yep, yep, we fought that, and then Laura cut off its head. That was when I first realized. <laughs> huh? Sharon? Sharon? I just said that. What reason could you possibly have for being here? Why? Why are you hating? She's uh, the best maid we ever need. The chairman gave me her permission to return to my former position as your dormitory's caretaker. Which means I am here to serve you all once more. For one more day. Now that Master Gwyn has returned to the company, everything is back in order. Oh shit, your your granddad is back in. <sighs> oh, I'm getting sleepy. Anyone else? So I just I'll I'll go talk to them, I guess. Machias, hey buddy. Hey Machias. Working hard or hard? I'll stop you right there. And you're studying. If I can't internalize as much of it as possible while I'm here, I'm doomed to failure from the start. And this is one of your new textbooks? Man, Heimdall's political academies don't mess around, do they? Okay, so he's going to Heimdallers political academies. Got it, got it. He'll be the youngest person there, right? Most likely. I'd normally need to have graduated from Thor's with a bit more experience under my belt to have gotten in. I know you're going to be just fine. You're so smart that you can handle any subject they throw at you. Growing up with your dad should give you a leg up on the politics, too. Yeah? Yeah, no pressure there. <sighs> What's wrong? Oh, it's nothing. Yeah, no, it's something. I know we're probably going to both be really busy with our own lives come spring. Sure. But let's make time to have lunch together once in a while or something. Okay? I mean, hey, if you're paying, I'm down. Hello, Elliot? Hey, Elliot. Taking care of your violin? Let me guess, he's gonna become a musician. And you'll finally be heading off to a music academy, just like you always wanted. He's gonna become the next, uh, Mozart. I don't really want my life to be completely about music. I love it, obviously, but to be a balanced person, I want to have a bit more variety in my life, like I had here at the academy. Twitch streamer? I, I don't know. Uh... Yeah? No, it's nothing. Either way, Heimdall and Trista are really close. So don't be a stranger, okay? Hello, Gaius, my man. You are you are the next, uh, Picasso? Are you finishing up your painting, Gaius? Yeah. This is my last one. It's called Blank Canvas. You're going to keep painting once you're back at home, though, right? Oh, he's going back home. I was intending to paint a picture of the Academy, its students, and the courageous. Oh, shit. That's, that's a lot. I want to capture the day we liberated the Academy, and once I've finished it... I fully intend to return to Erebonia with it in hand. That's kind of nice. Uses, uh, what you got? Looking over an endless sea of documents can be rather tiring on the eyes. I'm gonna guess you're gonna go to Berehard and, uh, study politics as well. Either that or something with your, your family house name stuff. Oh yeah. Oh, are those the tax reports you mentioned? Ordinarily, this would be my father's work. 
but his majesty has yet to decide his fate. Taxes? If my ego had its way, I would boast that filling in for my father is a simple and mundane task. It is not. But on top of the paperwork, I'll need to manage the provincial army and oversee the province as a whole. So he's he's gonna become the next Duke Alborea. Then there's the matter of keeping the most stubborn of the nobility in check. I don't expect the first six months to be pleasant. Uses has it the roughest. In the days to come, more people will be relying on you than ever before. But no matter who does so or what they ask, do not lose your pride as a noble. Oh. Act independently, your head held high. To be honest, I forgot I'm a noble. Wait, was this, this was Crow's room, right? Yeah, I mean, uh, okay, yep. You were all going to be in for some tough, Times ahead. I should not have walked into here. Thanks, Crow, for everything except my 50 mirror with interest. There are parts of the legends passed down in the clan that not even Emma and I know about. Okay. But just bear this one thing in mind. Oh boy. Divine knights have incredible power, and they can become devils just as easily as they can become gods. Ah, uh, uh, that's good to know, Milliam. What's up, Milliam? Oh, hey, Reen. Hey. I just feel kind of. Down. Join the club. Sharon's food was really nice, and we all seemed like we were having a good time. But I don't know. It was weird. Like we were all upset, but didn't want to let it show. It's been bugging me. It's called growing up, Milliam. You really have grown so much these past few months. And not just mentally. I think you've gotten a little taller, too. Judging by my specs, I'm not gonna get much taller than this, though. Specs? I'm mini Milliam forever and ever, but you never know. Maybe I'll grow up to have boobies so big, I can use them as a shelf like Emma's! What now? Something wrong? Nah, not really. So, you've got a new mission starting next month, right? Yep, I've gotta go see how things are over at West. Just promise me you'll take care of yourself. Sarah, you're not, you're not drinking tonight? I've been mulling over how things are gonna be come next month, but all this soul searching is giving me a headache. Well, it'll probably feel strange being back with the guild for the first time in two years. She's uh, she's a bracer again. What's with that sad puppy look? <laughs> it's my natural face. There's no reason for you to feel ashamed of what you've chosen to do. I still don't know what I've chosen to do. I haven't joined the intelligence division and I have no plans to. I'm gonna keep responding to their requests, but only if I'm comfortable doing what they're asking. Interesting, hmm. And I can promise you, I'll never do anything that would put me in conflict with the guild or put innocents' lives at risk. I don't know what the future will bring for me, but that's the creed I want to stand by. Oh, mm. I know, I know. Yep, she's gonna go back to Zephyr, watch. Are those seeds you got there? Adel gave them to me. And there's his signature move, yep. Don't you worry. Head, I'll be pat. sure to check on the gardening club every once in a while just to see how things are going. Hmm. Yeah? What's wrong? Nothing. Nothing. Of course, yeah, I know. She gave him her seed. They're the easiest ones to look after. You can try raising them if you want. Don't worry if they wilt or anything, though. When I found the others from Zephyr, I'll come back and check if they're still blooming. Oh, she's looking for the other members, so, so she's not joining them? If they are, you get a pat on the head. Hey, 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 you cannot use the Uno reverse card. Only Crow. Feeling sad about leaving the lacrosse club behind? I think it'll make for some wonderful memories to look back fondly on in the years to come. I can imagine. Does that mean you're not going to keep up with lacrosse and Ruhr? And she's going to Ruhr. Helping out with the Reinford group sounds like a recipe for one all-nighter after another. Not just yet, actually. I won't be helping until Grandfather shows me the ropes. <sighs> Elisa? No, nothing. Never mind. Watch. Don't worry about it. Why? Why are they all saying that? I was just thinking about how blessed I am. I've got a wonderful family, a great club I'm part of, all of you as my classmates. Oh, right. Right. It took me a long time to realize the same thing, too. We really are one and the same. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna have a good night. Are you- are you crying? Lisa. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's nothing, uh, honestly. Well, look at the time. I've uh, gotta gotta get to bed, you know. Long day tomorrow, huh? I'm just feeling a bit emotional all of a sudden. I don't know what's gotten into me. That delivery was decent. Emma, what are you doing? She's writing a letter to her witches. Oh, hi there, Reen. Hey. Dorothy and I decided that we're gonna put together one final collection of stories as a club. What kind of story are you writing? It's supposed to be a fairy tale. It's going to star a golden unicorn and a pure-hearted maiden. Or at least, that's the plan. Sounds like a Disney movie. Hmm. Something wrong? No, nothing. I'm sure you and Valimar will be just fine without my help now. Still, if you do need anything, 
Don't hesitate to get in touch. Copy, copy. It may take some time to contact me, though. You'll need to use a method that isn't exactly conventional. I mean, I theoretically get how to use runes to communicate since you told me, but I have no idea how it actually works. Oh, I'm using runes. You guys don't have Wi-Fi over there or cellular network? All right, so that is everyone. And last but not least, it is, what the hell? There she is. What are you looking at, Laura? A photo. I'll show you. Oh, a photo of Monica. Oh. You and Monica got a picture taken together? Nice! You both look so happy in it, too. I never expected you and Monica would get so close. Between her and Fee, you kind of have a knack for becoming the best of friends with the ones you bump heads with first. True. Meeting them enriched my life in ways I could have never pictured before. Truly, coming to this academy was one of the best decisions I've ever made. This will be my last time I can relax before my training, after all. Right, you're gonna go train with your dad, I'm guessing? I have no idea where we'll be conducting said training, but it will no doubt be as perilous as it will be dangerous. I had to spend a month in the Isengard range as part of mine. I don't think a month's going to cut it with what you're doing, though. It goes way beyond your average techniques. Uh, tell your dad I said hi. I'm anticipating that it will take at least half a year. Jesus! If not more. Father's going to be with me. But with things as difficult as they are, part of me feels guilty for taking up his time. I mean, hey, you're his daughter. It's perfectly normal to take up your dad's time. I would still like for you to come with me on my- Oh, she asked him to go with her. We talked about this, right? I'm afraid I can't. I'm not too sure why. Your dad would probably kill me if he found out. You only get one life. You've got to make the most of it. I'd only just hold you back if I were there with you. And you shouldn't be holding yourself back for someone else's sake. None of us should. I mean, it's only it's only six months. We we can do long distance, right? I suppose you're right. This is something I have to do. Correcto mundo. Not only to become stronger for me, but to continue being a worthy sword for you. There you go. And another hug. Th thank you, Laura. <laughs> you just keep patting her back. <laughs> I won't tell you not to overexert yourself, as I certainly can't promise that I won't. Still, I want you to always bear in mind that no matter what happens, no matter where I am, my heart is always with you. Please never forget that. The next day. Just another lovely day at Trista. The birds are chirping, the sun is high, and I'm working again. Oh my god, Toa, why so many? Oh, why am I interrupting? Maybe I should not be here, but whatever. Fee, talk to me. Then let's get started. Luza has to buy everyone one of those limited edition puddings, agreed? Think of this as my final lesson to you. Are we are we doing another swimming uh competition? Let's get sweaty. Uh I guess. Elliot, come on. Arms to your side. No offense, but you're kind of the weakest, so why not? We gotta do this, and then this, and then this. Yep. My timing is not... I messed up. Damn it. <laughs> I'm still destroying him. Holy crap, dude. You really are an amazing swimmer. Yeah, you're not. Laura is actually in the swimming club, so she's pretty good. I kind of want to face her. Oh god, I am not ready. <clears throat> she is the best one in the class. Here goes. Come on, Reen. Focus up. Triangle. Circle. Triangle. Yes, let's keep going. Don't stop, don't mess up. Oh God, okay. Damn, that was close. Braun built different. That that was fun, my guy. Let's let's not do this again. There's no way racing Angie isn't going to be- Oh, we're racing. You know, the one time I did race, I uh, almost died. That thing looks clean. How do you accelerate again? This not a good start. Go. Oh, okay, hold on. Let's can, can I retry this? Can I retry? There we go. R1. It's R1. It's R1. Oh my god. She's uh, pushing me. Stop it. Get some help. Okay, come on, Reen. Use the inside lane. There we go. And easy. Chillin'. You guys should be the last bit of uh, questing I have to do. To apologize that we had to trouble you with this, but in spite of my attempts to dissuade him, Master Patrick insisted that he just had to fight you today. Okay, cool. You want to settle which of our classes is stronger, right? Precisely. How many times do I gotta beat your ass? Would you mind choosing a partner to fight by your side, a classmate of yours? You guys know who I'm choosing. I'm sorry, but you know what I just realized? I never use any of the other clothes that they have. Probably, I probably should start, you know, trying them out. Never mind, we're not doing this. <laughs> I'll- I'll do that Cold Steel 3. I don't think it should be that tough, but let's see. There! Ha! Delay. Ooh. Now! 
An opening! <laughs> GG. Termination slash gone! <laughs> We're kind of overpowered. Happy now? I suppose I can finally accept Class 7 as Class 1's ultimate rival. Well, I mean, we're way ahead of you, but you sure? This is gonna be so easy. Fee. I have scanned everybody. I'm pretty sure this will do a lot of damage. Uh, oh, wait, my, my strength training. is down. I'm a dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> That was even worse than Patrick. Oh, we got two more. The final, final bosses. Two hours later. An opening. All right, we're good. We're chilling. That was zero. We're not chilling. My turn. And there's the handshake. I should probably go report, I'm assuming. Or not. Oh, it's the old schoolhouse again. You have also sensed the disturbance episode. Oh, yeah. He can talk uh, telepathically now. There was movement within the earth phase, but not solely that. Are we are we gonna fight the big uh swirly black thing again? All right, well we did all the side quests, all the main quests. Uh, free day is pretty much almost done. All that is left is to go and investigate the old schoolhouse one last time.